Hi. Hello. Well, we are live. Who is that? I don't even know who you guys are. <laughs> Can't tell. Now we know who you are. Yeah. This says the greatest show on earth. Did, have you guys got your masks yet? Your greatest show We haven't. Earth? I'm waiting on ours to arrive. It looks like <laughs> they got to Australia before they got to us. So they look they good. Did. Very good. They're very, they cover a lot of the face. It's awesome. I can't I wait to wear one. <laughs> Hey, everyone out there. Lots of people tuning in. Donnie and I are trying to do technology at the same time and share it. <laughs> You're so way better at it than I am. I can't nah, do I don't think so. I got it. I shared it. Okay. We are live right now. Live right now with our good friend, Amber Lawrence. Waiting on a few people to get on here with us. Got lots of comments already from people. So hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us. We are actually going to have a lot of laughs, I think, this morning. <laughs> <laughs> um, and you guys, you've just done a big acoustic set, a few songs out um, playing some live music. That's that's exciting. Yes. Yes, we have. We're slowly getting to do a couple little things here and there, but now we're en route to South Carolina. We're leaving uh, in a few here, and we're heading to South Carolina. And we're just glad to see everybody tuning in. I hope everybody's connected well. And uh, like Amber said, this is going to be fun. So we're, we're looking forward to hearing how what long, everybody's got to say here. How long a trip to South Carolina? It's about, uh, from where we're at right now, probably about eight and a half, nine hours with stops. So Wow. Wow. Do you sleep? Yeah. Do you sleep in the bus? Or we'll you drive sleep a little bit. So <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We're kind of used to that. So yeah. <laughs> I, guess I, I guess I can take my mask off. And see <laughs> oh, it's Donnie. Hi. <laughs> We've got, they're starting to join in. Yeah. Got Donna Cameron from Canberra. Maryland. Maryland. Yeah. <laughs> That's, That's Maryland. 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 <laughs> no, no, we're already why. starting the slang. No, why Maryland? Maryland. <laughs> Maryland. Where's everybody at? Let us know where you're tuning in from. We'd appreciate it, and uh, we're we're curious to see where everybody's at this evening. Buffalo Lake, Brad from Buffalo Lake. Uh oh, yes. That's our hometown stomping ground. Uh, cool. Ro Roseville, Roseville, MD. Where's that? Maryland. Oh, Maryland. <laughs> Pure Michigan, we've got Melbourne, Victoria. That's in Australia. We've been there. You have, yeah. There's have. Sammy Joe Patsy. That's uh, one of our good friends and part of the Davison Brothers team. Ah, Sam awesome. Patsy, how are you, buddy? We miss you. Lots of people joining us. Thanks for coming online. So today we're playing, um, what's that slang? What's that slang? <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> We're going to try. We we do good enough to understand West Virginia slang over here, let alone Australian slang. So Wow. So in, in America, each state kind of has its own slang too, I imagine. What is it? It, do, in each of the states, there's some different slang oh, yeah. as yeah, well. Yeah, it's different. And where we're at, our accents are, if yeah. you go, you know, an hour up the road towards Pennsylvania, it changes immediately. Like, it's crazy. Then you go a little south of us, it starts changing and gets more of a southern draw. Yeah. Down to, like Florida. So, yeah. So we're kind of in Appalachia here, and it's its own thing. So, yeah. Yeah. I can it definitely can hear the way you say, like, uh, the word own and. They're yes. a, bit, a bit different to the Southern drawl. Yeah. Hey, we noticed as well on the, the radio interview in Australia the other day that the lady interviewing us had a different kind of Australian accent. We were trying to pick up on that. So. Ah, yeah, there's a few different different versions too, but nothing as big as America. No way. <laughs> but nothing, nothing here is as big as America. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but we love your guys' accent over there. <laughs> have you tried to do it have you attempted well it? the first night we were there at our first time in australia when we come to the awards when we met you the first night yeah uh 
the 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 girls on the stage when they ask us she was like oh we just love your accent and, yeah, and we yeah. all like we responded we were like well that's what we were thinking about you guys we love the way you guys talk is that's the first time we'd ever been around any of that so yeah it's, so you it's hadn't kind of funny how it's it's kind of different but it's not that much different you guys like I noticed in a few of you guys, like you and a couple other folks there kind of have like the country the you got the you got the same country slang yeah. thing going as as yeah. we do being in the country in America. The same yeah. things. So when you came to Australia for the first time, I would imagine that in West Virginia there's not much knowledge about Australia and the accent. So it was kind of really Mind blowing. Yeah, yeah. It was. It was really. It was just like boom. There it was like. It was just there that fast. But <laughs> we kind of don't notice it anymore. Actually, that's kind of weird. Like I'm. I'm getting so used to talking with you and working with you and your yeah. team and Sony well, over there and Tony and all those guys. So now it's like a natural thing. And if somebody walks by when we're on the phone with you or something on speakerphone, they're like. It's you know it hits them like we're kind of used to it now. Unless some of y'all, some of our Australian friends talk a little bit faster, and it's kind of hard for me to understand. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, what did you just say? <laughs> say that again, but slow it down, and I might be able to pick up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, maybe we should start this game because I think we're going to get into a lot of trouble here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. All right. Who wants to go? Okay. So I guess I have to go first. Um. Pertner. Pertnier. <laughs> okay. Is this um okay, is this a a thing or a place? Pertnier. It's it something? is just a term. It's uh it's uh, the old timers used it a lot around here in Appalachia. Our grandfather used it a bunch when we was kids. Can you put it in a sentence? <laughs> yeah, I can. It's just uh there's yeah. lots of ways to use it. He's he say we was out on the hill or something. If we was up on the farm doing something, he, my grandfather would say he's part near back. He's part near back. <laughs> um, oh my he's God. part near there. Okay, he's part near there. <laughs> you, you almost had it, part near. I don't know. Is he? <laughs> um, he's hardworking. Uh, he's 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 over there. <laughs> It's like almost back. Okay. Bert, he's Bert almost near. You, you, you were oh, okay. Place. You were so that he's, place. he's nearly here. He's pretty yeah, he's here. Yes, ah, yes. Do, you, do you use it? Do you ever say it, you guys? Yes, we use it. Okay. He's pert near here. Pert near. Like he almost hit that high note. He pert near here. <laughs> pert near. He's almost there. He pert near got that note. Okay. <laughs> I got it. I'll use that for my band. You pert near got that note. <laughs> and Amber and the pert nears. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> Amber and the almost. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. I love it. All right. I think it's uh Australia's turn. Okay. Well, this I'm sure you know this one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the first thing anyone <laughs> said to us. Good day. Good day. Good day, mate. But good day, mate. <laughs> but a lot of the folks watching, a lot of our American friends on here watching that that's maybe the first time they've heard that. So yeah. you, how would you, how would you say it, Amber, so they would hear that? Yeah. So I, I if I see my friends, I go, "G'day." G'day. <laughs> G'day. <laughs> and watch, I don't even have to move my mouth. G'day. <laughs> <laughs> G'day, mate. G'day. 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 <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah. So uh, obviously, it's short for "good day," but now it's an Australian thing where you just say "G'day." G'day, mate. G'day. There's Tony right now. Good day, mate. Good day. Oh, hi, Tony. Hey, Tony Glover. We Good, day. Good day to Tony <laughs> and everyone. Good to hear Hello. From you. Okay. Well, that was that was easy. I started you easy. All right. Next one. West Virginia. Okay. Over yonder. Over the hill. Over the yep. over the way. <laughs> you you probably sing, sing that word in a lyric a, a time or two, right? Any Which, of your songs have yonder. A lot of our songs have yonder. Yeah, not not mine, but I guess if I've ever sung American songs, yeah. That, it's kind of like let her try. What what's your guess, Adam? <laughs> I said like over there, yeah. over yes. over the hills. That's it. That's it. Like a lot of they don't use that word too much anymore. Like the old timers are 
the grandparents and stuff like that still use the word yonder. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Like and um, if you put it in a song, you can rhyme it with um, ponder. Ponder, <laughs> wonder. Ponder, yeah, that's good. That's <laughs> yonder, over yonder. <laughs> nice. I like over yonder. Okay, Australia. Here we go. How you traveling, mate? <laughs> How y'all traveling, mate? Um, I would guess if it was me, I would. Get back. How you feeling? If you're traveling, how's your how's it going? How? Yeah. How's yeah. your life, man? How's how you doing today? That's it. Or you could. How are you traveling by bus? <laughs> <laughs> so. Well, you're right. The first one was right. Um, how are you? How are you doing? How are you? How's life yeah. moving along for you? Yeah, uh, you guys are winning. You guys are winning. Hope everyone out there is having a laugh at this um, and enjoying too. Thanks everyone for joining in. All right, two. I think it's two one. Davison Brothers. <laughs> oh, we're keeping score. Why not? <laughs> yeah. Okay. In the holler. Okay. In a hole? <laughs> kind of. I, I'm, yeah. I'm waiting to see some of the comments. <laughs> okay. Uh, yes. It's, in a hole. <laughs> it's kind. You're kind of right, but up the uh, where we live. Don't give it away yet. She's got to keep trying for this. Hey, one more try. Okay. Down in the holler. Okay. Like you. Arked in a holler neath the mountain moonlight. Okay. Holder up tight. Like a cave? <laughs> <laughs> you're 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 around it. You're around it. There's you, caves in the holler. Maybe you've fallen down a well. <laughs> <laughs> and you're hollering. Help me. Help me. <laughs> you're hollering. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, I guess it could mean two things then. But a and holler I, and a swaller, like a yell and a drink. Um, but the holler we're talking about, in a holler. It's where we live in Appalachia and our mountains. And, you know, they're not quite mountains, but okay. if you go up the road, it's usually there's these ridges on each side of you. And <clears throat> we will live, you know, a lot of people live in the holler. Okay. So it's kind like of the head of the valley. holler where the ridge meets together with and makes like a bowl and the you know uh, is it like a valley yes yes, yes. it's our like, terrain our terrain in the Appalachian okay. hills over here straight up and down well the right. only flat spot where they could build houses when people started settling here the only flat spot was in the bottom of that valley okay. like you're talking about where the creek runs that's the only level spot so people lived yeah. in the holler you drive straight up the flat part you're down in the middle of that holler. Uh, yeah that makes sense. That, that's you did good. You did good. <laughs> Somebody said so you don't, you don't live in a well. You don't live in the bottom of a well. That's good. <laughs> You're hollering. Somebody help me. <laughs> but holla. That's what they're yelling, isn't hey, it? Have you ever saw in the movies where somebody will holla, holler and it'll come back at them like a couple of seconds later? Yeah. Yeah. Like holler oh, back. That's an echo. Yeah. That's, but that'll do that in a holler. Uh, maybe <laughs> if you're in the head of the holler. <laughs> there was actually and a style of singing the old Appalachian called field holler. Then they would sing a cappella, and there was really? actually there's a, there's a movie too I've saw on HBO or Showtime or something. It's called The Song Catcher. But this lady traveled through the Appalachian Mountains and recorded all that old Appalachian field hollering, just but it's, like beautiful a cappella Appalachian slang and singing. Wow, and all, unbelievable stuff. No. No music, just give you cold chills, but it was called field hollering. Really? Oh my Dr. God. Ralph Stanley, he, he did this, this, the song. I don't know if you. Yeah. Yeah. But oh, that, cool. That's a field holler kind of. It's, yeah. Wow. Come visit. We'll show you a holler. I'm coming. Don't worry. I love, I love I'm coming. holler. <laughs> You've got some uh, a lot on here comments. Love the Davison Brothers from Nancy. Pam loves that movie. I love my holler. Cheers from Southern Maryland. <laughs> Maryland. Maryland. Uh, we don't have any hollers here. We just holler a lot. <laughs> See, there we was can actually, write a song right there. There was an ad campaign in Australia where um the if your battery broke down, your car battery, you yeah. holler holler for a marshal. So Marshall was the company that would come 
Yeah. So everyone in Australia will know that. Holler for a Marshall, but it's a okay. bit different. But that's how you get your battery replaced in Australia. You just go, help. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear, this is fun. All right. So your turn. Okay. Oh, oh Shane, you. can I use your dunny? <laughs> I might have to go use the dunny here in a minute. <laughs> Let, let's see what he does. He know what it is. Bathroom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't yeah, know. I've never heard that before. I, really? I, I remember at CMC Rocks. That's what everyone was calling it. And your mm. guys is like Dunny. Yeah. At the Lulu. other festivals are really nice. Like that. Oh, they're better, are they? Ours are called a Porta John at the festivals. Yeah. It's like your guys is is really souped <laughs> up. Like the Taj Mahal of dummies. Oh no, we have Porta Luz. Don't you worry. Well, we, see, yeah. we didn't have those. We were backstage. Like ours was nice. Yeah, the one at CMC Rocks was an actual brick building. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice. I know, but we definitely have Porta Luz here, and we call them Porta Lou. Yeah. Instead of a Porta Let. <laughs> Yeah, or a Porta John. Yeah, we don't. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but we don't use the term restroom much here. So restroom, bathroom, restroom. washroom. We, we would say the loo. Can we use the loo or the dunny or the toilet? Okay. <laughs> and your toilet. water actually goes an opposite direction as what it does for some reason here in the U.S. I know. So I never did figure that out. They were trying to explain it to us. So when your commode flushes, ours goes the opposite direction. Somebody was trying to ours explain it. Ours swirls counterclockwise. Because you're below the... Yours, yeah, for some reason, because you're below the equator or something, oh, yeah. explain that to us that water gravity. flows differently. It's gra gravity. <laughs> it's, uh, it was different. Like the dunny, the men's dunny is really the, like we have like individual urinals and stuff. Oh, in yeah, but your guys is just like a big metal grate. Like everybody <laughs> just goes in the dunny together and. <laughs> It's so gross. It's so gross. And you know, when when you're um, a female and you accidentally walk into the, you don't look at the sign and you walk in and you go, whoa, wrong room. <laughs> <laughs> this doesn't look like the female bathroom. <laughs> anyway, I think we should change topic. Yes. <laughs> well, all of our American friends know what the dunny is now. Dunny, yeah. Good awesome. job, baby. <laughs> Can I use your dunny? <laughs> okay, flat footing. Um, all right. This could be one of two things. Driving really fast or dancing. <laughs> <laughs> Sex, number two. You, you got it. You got it. Number That's two. That's a style of dancing. That's like that Pooh Boys, the little jig out yeah. on stage. That's what yeah. flat footing was just. There's a there's several steps, dozens and dozens of steps of uh, old dance here in the mountains, yeah. the mountain dance. So, yeah, but flat footing is one of the more famous styles. You know, there's people who know 40 steps of dance, you know, and mountain dance, but we call it flat footing. So, so I'm, I'm still reading these comments. <laughs> when you're stuck on the dunny, you might need to holler for help. <laughs> That's true. Oh, no. Um, so do you guys do flat footing? Is that kind of a social? Yeah, I'll let Donnie show it to you real quick. Come on. Here. I need a beat. <laughs> so that's flat footing. But I don't know. I think he just looks like he's drunk. <laughs> <laughs> that's my, no, that's great. Sometimes at those shows, I'll have somebody come up to me, like some kid or something, and be like, what kind of dancing is that, man? Did you just make that up? <laughs> It looks great. I've loved it when I've seen you live and see you well, do that. Well, there's kind of like clogging, mountain dancing, flat foot, and two. There's a lot of that. There's, there's just our family, like on the farm, when we would have reunions or a party at, down at the barn or the community center or something. Like all the old timers would get up and they all kind of did the little, their mm. own little thing. And it was just cool, man. It was just like their own. So cool. Their own dance in their own little world. And it's neat yeah. to see a whole dance floor full of that stuff going like that. And everybody right in time. And oh, I mean, wow. some of them are talented. Like I got family members that just get up and flat yeah. foot till their feet fall <laughs> off. Like, man, I get through three or four of those songs. It's hard to do that wow. three and a half minutes on each song, like that nonstop. Yeah. <laughs> Our bluegrass, uh, you know, some of the programs that, 
you know, we got some colleges in the Appalachia that will teach bluegrass and folk music, which is, you know, your mandolin, your banjo, yeah. and your acoustic guitar. But they'll offer the, the dance classes with it so you can major and, you know, dance Appalachian dance. And that's Amazing. people study wow. that. We know people that's been studying it since they're like three years old. Yeah, there's wow. a lot of steps to what I do is just kind of like my made up little. Yeah. Trying to it's play a guitar and sing and do yeah. some kind of foot stomping in there. That's, yeah. I don't know what mine's called, to be honest with you. <laughs> well, the Donnie. I have fun with it. Yeah. Oh, it's awesome. <laughs> I'm going to learn that when I come over. Flat foot. Right. Uh, it's not, I, I feel so um, like our traditions here are just, well, we're such a young country as well, like yeah. 200, that's it, you know, only three or four generations. So we just don't have these kind of traditions. Um, yeah, but that's, that's what's so amazing about your country too. It's Yeah. And, but you got to think there's so many more people, our population, like yeah, it, it's a lot bigger here. So we, we see a lot more stuff. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll bring the flat foot into my um, show, I think. <laughs> <laughs> You can do it on Facebook Live next week. I'll try it. We'll be waiting for you. You know, I dance like nobody's watching. Don't worry. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> All right. Uh, I think it's your turn. Australian. Oh, fair okay. dinkum. Fair dinkum. Wow. That's a fair dinkum. Um, That's tough. <laughs> That's uh, a, a fair deal. A fair. Yeah. You got the you got a fair dinkum. That's 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 yeah. that's all right. That's that's fair. like. Well, also, it, it can be described out a person like he's fair dinkum. Like you guys, you're fair dinkum. You know, yeah. you stand by your word. You're uh, decent people. Yeah, fair dinkum. I, we've never heard that. That's well, the first no. fair dinkum. Yeah, and it's also if if you're telling a story to me. And I don't pretend, you know, maybe I don't believe you about your um, flat footing. I go, or I go, fair dinkum. Really? Yeah, <laughs> yeah like, like. Yeah. Um, I see what you're saying. So we can like, say, like, like. Is that real? Is that right? Yeah, curious. Kind of like curious. Yeah. Not knowing, like. And you have I to say. You have to, Lawrence, she's pretty fair dinkum. Fair yeah. dinkum, mate. Yeah, but you have to raise the voice at the end of it. You have to go, fair dinkum. Fair dinkum. <laughs> Fair dinkum. <laughs> Fair dinkum. Fair dinkum. Fair dinkum. <laughs> Good job, guys. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> you can use that one. That people won't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Rachel Rally said US Aussies all learn the heel and toe polka at school. Ah, oh, yeah. That's yeah, kind of like a flat foot in them because that polka dance is kind of like our Appalachian dance. Yeah. Heel and toe, heel and toe, slide two, three, four. That's the song. Well, you learn the flat footing for next week and I'll learn the heel and toe. <laughs> Sounds good. Sounds good. All righty. Let's go, Virginia, West Virginia. Polk. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Well, I think if you're a polk at like your. Um, this is going to be really tough. <laughs> oh, it's hard to describe. <laughs> is it someone that um gets around late at night? <laughs> it has a, a very unique smell. Oh, no. well, they don't, you don't have them. That's why it's, going, uh, to be, it's I, going to be really <laughs> tough. A polecat. Not a pole dancing it's cat. A, I would say. A, I would a, say. Does anybody smell a pole cat? I smell a pole cat. Oh, oh, like a um, like a little white lie. It's an animal. <laughs> like a, oh, okay. <laughs> a pole cat. The squirrel. Squirrel. Close. You're getting close. Um, it's black with a white stripe down its back. Oh, I know. A skunk. <laughs> Yeah. No. Oh wow! The pole cat. The pole cat. Okay. <laughs> Riley's in a stripper. <laughs> stripper. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> exactly. Uh, do you get many skunks where you are? Yes, lots, lots. Okay. Everywhere. Yeah. And they don't. And, and they don't. You hit smell them with your car. They so your car will smell like that for days. <laughs> yeah. Like if your dog catches one or your cat gets near one and they spray them, 
Well, it, it ruins them, but there's like old fat, old remedies. Like old, okay. they, you have to bathe your dog or your pet in that's tomato, a, or you, if a kid gets sprayed. Oh, that's their defense. You have to give them a. You have to take a tomato juice bath. The tomato will draw the stink. Really, it, it gets in your skin, but that's oh. what a skunk does. That's its protector. If if yeah. something's trying to harm it, it just lifts its tail and pees on it, and it can pee like. 20 feet so oh god <laughs> i didn't know it's you would think that a skunk would survive in australia so there's um, not there's no skunks anywhere in the entire country of australia i don't think so i don't think we even have invited them to our zoo uh, <laughs> <laughs> so don't bring one with you okay <laughs> i think we can um deal we can survive without a, a polecat <laughs> A skunk. There skunk you go. Great, my dog the other night. Uh, fun, so different. Wow. Yeah. All right. This Australia. Is <laughs> what have we got? Okay, that's actually a spelling mistake. So it should say "want to play footy." F O O. I know what footy is. <laughs> want to play footy? Remember, you got to go up at the end. <laughs> there we go. Want to play footy? <laughs> Your footy is, I think, maybe I'm wrong, but that is your football. No, that's football. well, it's football, yeah. but it's different from our football. It's soft. Yeah, oh, they call it football. Our football. It's like is, rugby, right? Yeah, it's rugby. Like yeah. No, we call soccer soccer. Yes. So in a, rugby in is football. Uh, football. Yeah. 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 We when we were the last time we were on the Gold Coast, it was the big footy. Championship yeah. games and all the footy players were staying where we were staying. I got oh, to be really? Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. That's rugged. Like we wear shoulder pads and helmets, and those boys <laughs> are hardcore. Mm -hmm. We have exactly. rugby here, though. We have, we, I never did play it, but he played a little bit. Oh, really? Wow. What position did you play, Chris? I didn't last long at it. <laughs> water. You don't want to break your hands. Water was no I just carried the water to the <laughs> Well, I played touch footy. We also have touch footy where you just you tag oh, someone with yeah. your hand. You don't hit them. <laughs> oh, I'm yeah, all, all of like the rugby players that I know around here, they just like beer drinking and no teeth and scars <laughs> all over them and broken noses and just oh, yeah. black eyes all the time. And yeah, it's they, pretty that's, brutal. that's pretty rough. Yeah, yeah. No, they're we tough. Wear face masks and helmets and pads. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I hope everyone out there is enjoying. Lots of comments. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, somebody said they do the flat foot dance when they're queuing up for the dunny. <laughs> 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 that makes sense. <laughs> That's what I love reading the comments. <laughs> um, awesome. All righty. Let's go. What do we got? Oh, <laughs> very beautiful. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. You guys have got some very strange sayings. Okay. Well, some of this, there may be people in West Virginia or surrounding states that don't even know what a fairy diddle okay. is. What's a fairy diddle? Um, it's a fairy diddle. Oh, God. Fa fairy. Is it? Okay. Sounds like it could be a dance. Um, fairy diddle. <laughs> God. Put, can you put it in a sentence? Uh, we were camping the other day and we were at a trout stream in the mountains and I personally saw a fairy diddle. Oh, okay. A rainbow? <laughs> you were right back with your first guest. Fairy things throwing you off. Back with your first guest of the polecat, you was close, if you oh. can remember that. Like a. It's an animal. What oh, it's an animal. A fairy diddle. Oh, it's a squirrel. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's, it's really like, neat. It's kind of, we have squirrels. Like and we have, yeah, we have squirrels and we have chipmunks. Oh, okay. Uh, like, a fairy diddle a only lives squirrel. in West Virginia. It's That's the only place. It, so it's a miniature squirrel with a great big bushy tail. How cute. It's little. It's kind of like, it's really bizarre when you see one. Oh, like that's a small, adorable. Fox squirrel, like a red squirrel, but it's got a big bushy tail, like a regular size squirrel. But yeah, the body's like the size of a ground squirrel, which we call chipmunk. Okay, 
So is it a rare sighting to see a fairy diddle? It is. Yeah, yeah. it is. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Fairy diddle. There's a bunch of these. myths, an old, old bunch of myths, and, you know, the natives yeah. thought they were magical and did things and stuff. It's it's pretty neat if you yeah. read them. So and is it Google like, fairy diddle. I will. If you see a fairy diddle, does that mean you'll have a good day fishing? Something I like don't that? know. It's, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> it usually means you're in... Uh, in the middle of nowhere somewhere. I oh, right. saw one in years. I, my Uncle Pete always tells the story out on the farm. When I was a little guy, I was coming from the barn back to the farmhouse and to see Uncle Pete. And I seen one of those fairy diddles, but I wasn't very old. I don't really remember that, but I called it a fairy fiddle. <laughs> I've seen a fairy fiddle, so he tells everybody that story. That's cute. That's a lady playing a, a fiddle on yeah, stage. Yeah, I saw a fairy. fairy fiddle. Uncle Pete, I saw a fairy fiddle. That's too cute. Oh, awesome. All righty. Okay. This one's good. Austria, it's my shout. It's my shout would be. It's my, my spotlight, turn. my stage, mm -hmm. my microphone, my. <laughs> <laughs> close no chris was closer it's my turn it's my turn to what say to my sing turn. no <laughs> my got turn him. Got him, australia i got him on this one <laughs> it's my shout it's my my turn to go well yeah close but it involves beer my turn Oh, wow. It's my <laughs> shout. It's my turn to buy you a drink. It's that, my turn to I buy the you. next round. That's right. It's my shout. No, it's my shout. Oh, I got it. I got it. Okay. It's on me is how we would say it. Yeah. Bar yeah. Keep, get everybody around. It's on me. Yeah. Get so we would say, to I'm shouting. Me. I'm shouting the drinks tonight. That's okay. good to know. Next time we're there. <laughs> yeah. It's your shout. <laughs> Awesome. Oh, cool. I want I think are we getting are we running out? I, I don't know who's winning now. It's neck and neck. It's very close. <laughs> oh, reckon reckon so. Um I think so. Yeah. Uh-huh. You're, so. you're you're dead on. Yeah, that's that's uh if if someone asked you something and you wanted to say yes, you would say yeah, I reckon, reckon so. I yeah, reckon. we actually do. We I, say I that. Reckon, yeah, I reckon. Yeah, I you reckon. Say reckon. We do. We do yeah. say reckon. Yeah, I reckon. I reckon. I say it a lot, actually. Yeah. <laughs> uh, a lot of Australians here want to buy you a drink. Well, good. We'll take we'll take them up on it. Soon. They get the first shout, and then the rest of the night will be my shout. Yeah. What's your favorite? If someone was shouting you a drink, what would you say? I can't remember the name of the beer we drank the night we done the shooties at CMC with you guys. Yeah. Whatever that beer was, was okay. so good. It was like yeah. our first Australian beer. Okay. Out of a boot. It was really it good. It was good. It was, <laughs> and everyone I asked, the, the next time we were over there was like, it wasn't even like your guys' top shelf beer. It was like okay. a, a lower grade beer, but it was so It was good. in a real it nice blue can. Blue and silver. Oh. It's about common, the size of this right here. I mean, the color of this. A common, okay. It's a common beer there, and if you said the name, I would know it. But okay, I um, don't drink beer much, so. But we uh, don't know. <laughs> but we Did we drink. Wine? What about wine? Wine, <laughs> a little bit. I'm not much. I like a sweeter wine. Like I can't drink okay. dry wine. But okay. Yeah. I don't know. I, sometimes I like wine a little too much, and then the next day I have like the worst <laughs> headache. It like dehydrates my brain or something. But yeah, wine. I like a grape. I love grape. I love the flavor of grapes. So a good grape wine, I like a glass of grape. I yeah. love. I like wine when I'm eating Italian food here. Yeah, like, like, like spaghetti yeah. and meatball or lasagna, some kind of red yeah. sauce. I love a red wine. Mm, me too. Yeah. But yeah. I never could drink like bourbon or any kind of whiskey or no. Wow. We could drink Patron and tequila. Tequila. I like he tequila. Likes, he like. Oh god. <laughs> We're lightweights. We drink light beer here too. Like if we was to buy a beer, it would be a light beer. Yeah. Like a 
That's a good strategy, though. <laughs> Definitely. I like I like cold beer. A cold beer on a hot day is good. Yeah, I do. I like a I like a cold wine. A we nice have, birthday. <laughs> we have a, a it's kind of notorious. You've heard of it here in the Appalachian Mountains, the moonshine. Yeah, it, it's yeah. a corn liquor. It's like one yeah. drink like i've had moonshine before where somebody some kid handed to you on stage like three <gasps> songs later you're like whoa am i gonna get through this song? really Strong. oh wow it's, you can get it in different 90 Ooh. proof 100 proof, i mean but oh there, there's a lot of folks that just love moonshine and i was at, at one time they, they flavor you can get like peaches blueberry butterscotch apple oh okay it's good like for a sip but and then you mm. want another sip, and then you're taking a big drink of it, and then it's just one of those that sneak up, and bang! Like yikes! You don't, don't like want to overdo it with the moonshine, but we have a lot of friends that we yeah. we take them some moonshine. We are notorious for that in West Virginia. We yeah. actually had. Have you ever heard of the show Moonshiners on our? Uh, it's like on the Discovery Channel. I think you guys get some of our channels. Yeah. Right? Well, we have one of the characters and one of the stars on the Moonshiner show on here commenting right now. He said he's going to make you a batch. Hey. Well, say hi to the Red Fox. But yeah, uh, he's a good friend. He's the Oh, hey, friend. Red Fox. Yeah, just be kind. Be very kind. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because whatever he sends you will be the real deal, like the best moonshine in the world. Oh, my goodness. I'm excited. But that I love the peach good. flavored. Like, if you get it cold, like, it won't freeze. Real moonshine, you can yeah. light it, it burns. And you can't freeze it, but it is delicious when it's cold. Yeah. Okay. It gives you a little bit of heartburn, a little bit of indigestion, but I love like it. I like, I like the I taste like of it. moonshine. I'm up for it. All right. Whose turn was it? I think we've only got a couple more left. So, yep. okay. This one, Australia. Australia. That's going straight to the pool room. Um, <laughs> do I have to go up on room straight to the pool room? The trophy room? <laughs> Oh, yeah. How'd you know that's that? Going straight I, to the pool ring. I'm right? just guessing. I, that's <laughs> going right straight in there with the rest of your awards, right? On yeah. The wall, and where everybody can see it when they walk in the office. Exactly. So it's um it's very common um kind of uh, slang in Australia because there was a movie about 20 years ago called The Castle and the 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 main character, the dad in it, you know, he was just really proud Australian father. And, you know, even if the kids won the, like, the certificate for coming last, you know, like runner-up, slowest runner at school. He's he goes, taking it straight to the pool room. <laughs> yeah. He so now that dad. <laughs> yeah, it was beautiful. So now whatever you, you know, wherever you are, if you win um, the raffle down at the pub, you go, that's going straight to the pool I room. I got it. That's good. That's good to know. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, if you win a good award too, it can go there, but it doesn't matter. Everything goes to the straight pool room. Straight to the pool room. <laughs> yeah. So um, our pool a room, the pool room here would be shooting pool on the pool table. Well, that's that's what was that's okay. why the room was called the pool okay. room because it was his room that had the, the pool the, table. The, the, grand, the grand, the grand room. Yeah, right yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, good work, guys. Well done getting that one. Wow. All right, throw me one. Singing. Oh, is that singing? Nah, <laughs> but people would we with our accents. It might sound like we say. I was singing. Singing, but. <laughs> Okay, it's we're not going that. on the mountain and going singing. Ooh, going on the mountain and going singing. This is so, going to be tough. Okay, you're going to catch something. Kinda. Okay, are you are you shooting something? Kind of no, look. No, it's not an animal. Um, we're okay. harvesting something. Singing. Um, harvesting. Very, um, very medicinal. Oh. <laughs> Um, medicinal marijuana. <laughs> <laughs> now our season, our sang season comes in, and on September first here in West Virginia, sang season. Wow, it, it's uh, it grows underground. It's it's a uh, it's like a a root that is used in all kinds of medicines and stuff, and you know it's a oh, natural. Really? Medicine, but we we say we're going sang, and some people, you know, we just dig it to have. That, that eat singing it. is, I think it's misspelled. That should be an e. 
Okay. But, uh, E-A-N-G-I-N. All but right. anyway, we a lot of people will go, you know, they'll dig it and they dry it. Then, uh, you, you know, it's in a lot of your natural organic uh, vitamins and stuff like that. Okay. But it's really good for you. And some people make a living doing it here in the mountains. Wow. But it's Golly. Different. It's uh, it's hard to find, and it's you got to really know what you're doing to find. Sang in short for ginseng. There's there's a few major. Oh, okay. Major yep. medicinal roots yep. like there's yellow root gin, ginseng's very very popular in vitamins and yeah. all. Yeah, it's good for sure. going ginseng hunting. So okay, we, uh, we have a lot of it right here, right on the farm. You can go dig it. Oh, amazing. Year. And um, a lot of people. Some folks make a living digging it throughout the season. Like it's very expensive. It brings a lot yeah. of money. The way yeah. it. like it goes some years, I think it goes between 800 to a thousand dollars a pound, like on a good wow. for a pound of that. But, but a pound of it goes a long ways. They grind it. They yeah. boil it. They tincture it. They you yeah. get it in powder form, but it's just really good for, for everything. Okay. Wow. <laughs> cool. Well, not much digging out where I live. <laughs> um, I think one more round each and yep. then you yep. guys have got to get on the road. So, okay. This one is one of our most famous songs in Australia and uh, a very good description of people. Hey, true blue. That means you're good, hardworking, blue-collared, honest to goodness, everyday, respectful person. Yeah, and in particular... Australian. Yeah. That's, <laughs> you your, that, yeah. that's good. You should listen to the song, Hey True Blue. It's one of our um, most well-known Australian songs. Yeah. Who, 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 who sings it? it? Uh, John Williamson. And um, he is one of our most prolific um, songwriters in Australia, one of our definite um, biggest stars, I guess. So, oh, Yeah. yeah. We'll look that up. I've, oh, I've seen his name tonight. on a few things, and yeah, 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 he writes amazing songs, beautiful Australian songs. Yeah, probably with lots of these words in them. Yeah, <laughs> actually, he, this he writes, song he writes a lot for the for the new artists and everything too, right? Um, well, not so much, but um, a lot of new artists cover his songs. Oh, okay, that's what yeah, I, yeah. But in this song, he's got the word Vegemite in it. Okay. Do you know what Vegemite is? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. They all <laughs> learn the hard way. Vegemite waiting when we get those. I ate like a great big spoonful <laughs> of it the first time. Well done. <laughs> no Vegemite. I learned how to do I it just the right dabbed way. it and tasted it. Yeah. I am not a Vegemite guy. <laughs> Chris thought it was Nutella. <laughs> yeah. I thought it was like salsa or something <laughs> with chips and salsa. <laughs> oh, no. He's got like the big scoop of it and. Yeah, Ugh, that is just so bitter, and I don't know. I don't think I will ever acquire a taste for the Vegemite. Oh, I love it. It's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's it's very salty. I think that's what. But you got to learn. You just got to learn the art of um, how much to use. So you know, Maybe. That, next time what I learned. <laughs> yeah, spread well, lightly. Yes, go it, lightly. Right? <laughs> so, guys, I think um, it's clear that you won. You won this game. You're just very good at it. <laughs> I don't know. I think it was a tie. Okay, it was a tie. Um, but we have to let you go. So what's next for us? What's next for our song? We got a lot going on. And uh, thank everybody out there that downloaded and streamed our new song, The Greatest Show on Earth. And thank you, Amber, for making all that possible. And thank our team in Australia, all your team, Sony Australia, Tony Glover, all that crew, all your your team working this so hard over and thank our team here in West Virginia, our team in Nashville, Irv Woolsey Management, Copper Line Music. But we got a lot more to come. I was just talking with Amber before this a little bit. We've we just got some big announcements that come in today. So if everybody stays tuned, next week or so we'll be letting some of this information out. And it's exciting, exciting times and we just love everybody, and we hope this song brightened everybody's day that heard it because it sure brightens our day every time we hear it, and we, we're proud of it. I'm so proud that we wrote this. We recorded this. This was, you know, it was all genuine. It was you yeah. know, done on the, on the spot, and, you know, I'm, I'm thankful that we was able to work so hard on it. You know, and the being quarantined allowed us to actually dig in a little 
a little True. harder and do a lot more work behind the scenes on everything. But we're just proud of this song and everybody and all the support they've given us. And I'm sure you are too. So there's so much like I I can't wait for everyone to see the video for this. Yes. Like that. Yes. I, I am so excited for that. And me too. Yeah. Uh, we're we're having a good time with all this. Yes, thank all the fans in Australia and the U.S. and all over the world. The Netherlands, we had fans uh, submit those videos, and they're beautiful and they're very touching. And we got yeah. an amazing video with everybody in it, and uh, a lot of you know little web stuff we're going to be putting out with all those videos that come into us. And we just we're proud of we're proud of this completely. You know, it's one hundred percent from the heart. And yeah. It, it just makes us proud to be able and it's to, just the beginning all of yeah. our everyone on facebook right now american friends everybody here in the u.s amber still has to come to <laughs> tour with us and and get to see all this and i'm excited for that yeah who wants to see amber yeah, in west virginia we next year those, with us so maybe we can get her to wild wonderful country fest. i can't wait it's just, i can't it's, wait it's it's just been a great deal and i'm I'm excited for this to keep going and just to see where this goes because it's, it's one. Yeah. I love wait. every minute of it. I'm excited. I'm excited to get on here and talk to you and, and let every, <laughs> all of our friends and family and meet all of your friends and family and fans and all that. And it, it's just great. That's uh that's what it's all about for us. Yeah. It's been just awesome. And uh, the news you told me guys, well, zip it, but <laughs> I'm excited and the video is beautiful, but Please keep on the journey with us, everyone. We've got lots more to share with you. And um, next, next weekend, isn't it? Keep safe. <laughs> yeah, next next weekend. Hey, also, we got these, a little closer to the screen, Amber, because we got these new masks for everybody that don't know. You can get these online. The greatest <laughs> show on earth. There we go. Awesome. <laughs> Take care, guys. Travel safe. Hey, fine. we love you guys. Love you guys. Thank everyone. Thanks, for everyone. Time, we'll see you next week. Have Bye. a good evening. <laughs> Bye.